Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And this is going to be a quick episode of Canon News with some information that's dropped within the last 24 hours. But before I get into that, don't forget to smash that like button for this video. That way it gets out to more people. If you enjoy this information and these news videos, as well as tech reviews, please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon. That way you get alerts anytime I put out a new news or tech related video. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. Now, the first bit of news is it seems that it has been confirmed that the first of the three cameras that Canon's putting out this year is going to be the R7. Beyond that, there is no other information about this R7 camera. Now, we don't really know where this camera is gonna fall in the lineup because we do know that there's supposed to be a new RF camera replacing the RP, as well as a new RF camera that's going to sit between the R6 and the R5. Now, with a name like the R7, it could be either one of those two units. We can probably rule out the APS-C sensor RF camera as that's possibly gonna be its own product line, which I think is going to be replacing the 90D. And I'll be sure to let you guys know more news and information about that. Now, as far as the major information in this video, it looks like a list of lenses from Canon has been put out that they are increasing the prices of quite a bit, anywhere from 100 to $200 per lens. Now, keep in mind, this is not the first time they've done this in the last six months. About five months ago, there was another set of lenses that they did the exact same thing to. They raised the prices from $100 up to $200. Now, ironically, one of the things that I've noticed between these two lists is that there is one lens that was on both lists. The RF 100-500 f4-7.1 to was increased by $100 five months ago, the first time they did price increases it's now had a second increase of yet another $100, making this also a lens that's had a total of a $200 price increase. Now, while I understand the cost of doing business and inflation has gone up for everyone, and pretty much any business is doing price increases, the amount of the price increase that Canon is doing seems a little extreme when you're raising some lenses $200 per lens. I can't imagine what they have going on in their production that would justify a $200 price increase on these lenses. Now, the part about this that is the most out of place to me is that these aren't just RF lenses that are having the prices increased. Some older EF lenses are also having price increases. The EF 16 to 35 F4, which is a widely used lens in the real estate photography industry, is also getting a $200 bump. Now, this is quite an older lens, and I can't imagine that people are still buying it at the point that they're producing this in mass quantities. It feels like a lens of this age should have more than enough quantity already produced sitting in warehouses, whether it be places like B&H, Adorama, or Canon themselves, not to mention the overwhelming amount of secondhand lenses that are on the market for this specific model. And that goes for most of the EF lenses on this list. Now, depending on when you see this video, you might be able to jump out there and find some of these lenses that just were price increased at some retailers at their standard price that they were two days ago. On the EF versions of these lenses, if you're looking for one of the lenses on this list, I do recommend looking secondhand. The EF 16 to 35 is actually one of the lenses that I own. And I picked this lens up secondhand, I believe for about $750. And it was an excellent near new condition. It came with the box, there were no scratches, there's no dust in the lens. Because even six months ago when I bought this lens, I couldn't justify the price of buying it new. To a lot of people, it's going to get to the point where it feels like Canon is getting excessively greedy. I'm seeing more and more people jump off the Canon bandwagon and going over to something like the Sony a7S platform. Number one, because there's a ton of lenses on that platform, not to mention third-party options from Sigma and Tamron, which we still don't have on the Canon R series. Now, it seems like Canon's strategy for these price increases is to do a small amount at a time, probably hoping that the average consumer does not notice the batch of lenses that the prices have been increased on. If we look at which lenses in the first batch and the second batch have been increased, we can kind of get an idea of what is left for an increase. That's going to go down to your under $1,000 RF lenses, your 85, your 35, the new 16 that just came out, and the 50 millimeter are all lenses that we could possibly see price increases on within the next six months. Now, because of the lower cost of those specific lenses, I can't imagine them going too drastically high, hopefully, 
uh, more than about 50 to $75, maybe even a hundred on something like the 85. With them putting out new budget versions of the Canon RF mount bodies, they're going to try to make as much money as they can on the lenses from people who have never been in this system that never knew what the prices were to begin with. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this edition of Canon News. If you have any questions for me, please post them down in the comments section. I would love to see them. Also, again, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And with that being said, until next time.